in times where you want to second guess yourself, in times where you doubt whether or not you did something wrong or whether you did something right, I want you to always remember this. What's good with y'all, man? Guys, this is a mindset shift, okay? This is a reprogramming of your mind. This is a reprogramming how you think, how you interact, how you deal with women. Because there are certain situations you need to understand, hey, I need to handle it this way because of this. And this over here is the fact that women need you to feel complete. Women need men to feel fulfilled. That is the truth across the board. Everything they do is predicated on looking good in a man's eyes or looking desirable in a man's eyes. Whether it's the attention horse that want to bend over in front of you, they want to wear what they wear. All these women that shake their ass, they just want to get the look. They need to see the look. They need to see the validation on your face. They want to see the enticement. They want to see your reaction to that ass shaking. And at times when you're dealing with them, when you over here busting us with a chick, when you over here in the process, in the groove of things, and you like, yo, yeah, her interest is super high. Let me keep doing what I'm doing. Oh, shit, it's taking a turn. It's falling down. What did I do? What mistake? Did I make a mistake? Uh, what's going on? In times where you want to second guess yourself, in times where you doubt whether or not you did something wrong or whether you did something right, I want you to always remember this. Always think about the fact that, yo, obviously... What she's getting from you, other guys aren't doing that. I am doing this thing for her. I am giving this certain benefit. I am giving her a certain fulfillment in her life. Now, where are your priorities, though? Because you can't sit here and say the same thing about her to you. You can't be in that place. If you in that place, you're going to find it difficult to detach from women you're going to find it difficult to overcome their shit test, overcome just the bullshit that they do in general. Like, guys, I want y'all to know something. They're never just going to be 100% of what you want. So, right, let's rule out a lot of this shit. They're never going to be 100%. Nobody's going to be perfect, obviously. What we can do is mitigate how we catch your feelings for certain women, right? Certain women that are, you know, mediocre hoes or like holes on the sly and all this other stuff, or maybe they just ain't been in a good relationship. We not saving them still. We not saving none of these hoes. We're not giving them the benefit of the doubt. You can benefit off of this dick, but any other time you're going to find it hard to detach from the woman because you're going to think I need her. No, it's the other way around. It's the other way around. What is she really doing for you? Right. Understand this. Understand this. What is she doing for you? Oh, she's helping you bust nuts. You enjoy your time with her, but mostly most of that time is spent doing what? Busting nuts and or preparation to bust nuts. You feel me? She's not paying your bills. She's not making your life more grandiose, like, like helping you reach your next financial goal or your family or whatever. She's not helping that. She damn sure can't lift the weights for you, bro. She can't get in the gym and help you get swole. No. Is she helping you with your diet plan? No, probably not. Probably not. Is she cooking you healthy shit? Then okay, that's a benefit. But still, you got to be busting nuts for the most part. 95% of the time is only about busting nuts 95 percent of the time when i'm talking to a chick i'm not even talking it's my dick when i'm talking to a chick i'm actually like feeling and attracted to and, and actually going through the process of clapping buns and all this stuff it's just my dick talking it's just my dick talking. i'm not even talking I'm, I'm not even there i'm just sitting there and my dick talking right that's how it is that's how it is they need you though See, the way they view it is totally different from us. They need you. See, when we're around women, we give them a level of just natural 
just natural protection, natural ability to calm a situation down, the natural ability to handle a situation, right? Or something that, that pops off or something like when we are there with them, they feel a lot of different things, guys. And I need you guys to really understand this because when you get this under your belt, you start to realize that, yo, like really the world is fucked up as far as them selling this lie to women is really just what they did. They told women, you should want to work a job. You should want to be independent, right? And then that trickled down, right? Because the first age feminism, that's what they was on. The, the, the original feminists, they was actually fighting for a pay, whatever the case is, whatever, whatever. Complaining about not working and just sitting at home taking care of, all right, whatever. Now they got that, still wasn't enough. Now the next lie that was told to them Right. And this is bringing everything full circle. Listen to this. Shake your ass, dress real skimpy, wear almost nothing. And that's how you get your respect. Men will really appreciate you. They sold these hoes a lie. The biggest dream sold was by whoever the fuck did that. Whoever the hell came up with that plan is the GOAT. Because now pussy is out here plummeting. Pussy is out here plummeting on the market, which means what? Your value is even higher. If it's plummeting, that means that the supply is high. Demand is lowering. You, my brother, are in demand. You, King, are in demand. Put in demand in the comment section right now. This is what you got to realize. Once you understand this about women, they are in need of you, not the other way around. We are good. We are literally good. You don't ever hear a man on a first date saying, yeah, you know, I'm an independent man. And, you know, I don't really I just like you. I don't really need you. I like you, though. You don't ever hear a man say that. We don't got to say nothing. Matter of fact, the best thing we can do is sit there, shut the hell up, let them ramble on about all their wants, needs and desires. All to do what? Bust cheeks down us nuts and then we have a sigh of relief oh damn well it was worth it listen to that whole talk for three hours straight that's what you're gonna be thinking at the back of your head anything else unnecessary but what's going through their head man this man feels so good he's enjoyable i just i feel safe around him the way he holds me is this and the way he talks to me and then he listens to me that they're going on all that they're going on a whole tangent on all of that through their head all of that and more i'm telling you guys we provide so many things with just us being a man like a real man though like guys be putting in work be put in the work okay because what that is about is the mental right that's about your mental game that's about a man mentally being put together real men's mentality Okay, that's why the alpha male blueprint, that's what I cover there. That's what I covered. That's your mindset, guys. It's going to change your whole game. That's going to elevate your ability to clap buns, keep clapping buns, send the buns off with a deuces. Bye. I'll, I'll see you again later. Bye, booty cheeks. She's like, uh, what did you say? I said, bye, Brittany. But really, she just some cheeks. You just some bubble butt cheeks that I really like bouncing my Johnson off of. That's really it. I mean, come on, bro. Like, guys, I'm not playing around, bro. It sounds like I'm being facetious, but I'm being dead ass. I'm being dead ass. I'm being dead ass. That's what they love about us. They love men. They really just love the idea of a man. So much to the point that they imitate and try to replace us and try to act like they don't need us, but they really need, like you wouldn't even have to speak that out if that wasn't the case. A lot of men are confused as to how much they desire women. Because I'm telling you, if most guys was able to get buds based off of their attraction and or their ability to, looks, money, status, whatever the case is, and however you want to mix and match it, if a lot, if men was busting nuts, right? Put it this way. If men was busting nuts, we'd have a lot different outlook, like as a majority. 
because most men today haven't even had sex in the last year and or are virgins like a good over a third of men imagine if over 90 percent of men had a steady stream of pussy this world would be so different you get this in here you understand this that they need you that a man is bro a man's man is something to be it's something to be cherished by women and they know it they don't want to admit it they know it that's why we don't get as many compliments that's why that's why they don't want to show their appreciation all the time bet well i'm gonna hold back on my validation for you then bitch i'm gonna hold back on the real me i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you what you want to hear because most of it is just about clapping buns for us we still gonna enjoy you and you know appreciate we're not gonna do you dirty I'm gonna do you right the way you want to get done right in the bed. Other than that, like I'm not finna just shit on you. I'm just not gonna deal with you. Goodbye. You start to get crazy, get a little too much. Okay, bye. It's just that's it. That's it. Oh, okay. Tell him. Tell the next guy that. You know, that's about it. But as men, we will always provide what we provide as men because we had to build ourselves. We had to establish ourselves. You know what I mean? The things that they get coming to them is really just given. It's given. It's not earned. When they're earning you, when they're in the process of earning a man, a real man, then they're like, yo, I got to keep. That's when they get into. Let me lock him down. Let me try to keep him. Let me make sure I'm not bugging him and annoying him. Do you like your dick suck like this? Or do you like it like this? Do you want me to look in your eyes? Or do, How do you want? What? All the things we provide and all the provision, the leadership, they see the lead. They smell the leadership on you. Damn, if I man, he just make me want to submit to him. They submit. Because they know their life would be so much better around a king like me, around a around a boss like you. What? It's a blessing. To be around a real man, we on the verge of extinction today. It's too many pussies out here. Not enough real men that's afraid to say what they say what they mean and mean what they say. Be a man about shit. Stand on his square, no matter the opposition. Feared today. Very much feared today. You will be chased by women being this kind of man. You will be chased. You will be desired. And they will they won't even be able to figure out what, what's going on with this guy. Because this guy is obviously a winner. This guy just he just doing it. He is doing life. He is fucking the hell out of life. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I'm bending life over and I'm going crazy on them back shots. Pause. That's how it is. Check out the Alpha Male Blueprint. If y'all got it, like I'm telling you, bro, I created that to get your mentality on point. I am also in the process. Guys, beginning of this year, beginning of 2024, I need y'all to look out for my new one. I'm, it's going to be basically a 2.0. It's going to be better. It's going to be better. Okay, in the in, in the works right now, promise you, y'all be easy.